hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another brand new video on kitchen tonic in this video today we're going to be making some haitian styled banan pizzi or fried plantain pressed plantain however you want to translate it but in the haitian culture it's called banan pizzi okay literally banana squeeze banana pressed but who am i to translate so without further delay we're going to jump right into this video what we're going to be using for this video today i have two lovely looking green plantains and i have a water mixture over here this mixture that i have here is two cups of water one lime juice has been squeezed into the water this is the juice from one whole lime i squeezed into the water along with one tablespoon of salt and i've mixed it around so basically what we're going to be doing I'm going to be peeling my plant in here. I'm going to be cutting them and then I'll place them to soak in my lime salt water over here. And I'm going to let it soak for about 10 minutes. Basically what that does is that you won't need to add any more salt or anything after cooking the actual plantain guys so in most other dishes normally after you fry your plantain you may garnish it with some sea salt but in this recipe here we're already soaking our plantain in the salt so there won't be any need to add any salt after the fact or after cooking all right guys so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna show you guys in a very easy way of how to remove the skin from the plantain so what we're gonna do we're just gonna remove the edges of our plantain just like this And I am gonna cut my planting in half, just so that it's more manageable, guys. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go along the, um, the spine or these ridges on the planting, guys. You're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut directly straight down the ridges of the planting. And then the skin is just gonna fall right off. Let me show you guys. And be careful while you're using sharp objects, guys. That should go without saying, but let me just remind you. You want to cut directly along the ridges of the plantain, just like so. Straight down the ridges. And you want to try to get every single ridge on the plantain. And this is not exactly a ridge, so I'm not going to bother with that. And basically what we're just going to do, you can either use your fingers or you can use the knife to gently separate the skin from the plantain a little just like that and you're just gonna peel it right off peel the skin off guys and it's supposed to come right off just like that we're gonna peel right off and I should mention you don't want to go too deep into your plantain because you don't want to end up dismembering or disfiguring your plantain guys and just like that let me just remove this little black spot from the end here and just like that i'm going to show it again for the people that weren't paying attention okay you're going to take a smaller knife hopefully something that you it's more hand you can handle properly and we're going to cut along the ridges on the plantain just like this you want to make sure that you're staying on top of the ridges and try not to cut too deep into your plantain And what you can also go ahead and do, you can use the knife to slightly lift the skin up. Sorry, I was out of frame. Slightly lift the, the skin up from the plantain. And then you can go ahead and use your fingers to continue peeling away at your planting. And this planting is a little green than the usual. So it may, it may take a little effort to actually remove the skin, but normally it falls right off be sure to try that technique all right guys so here i have my plantain with the skin removed and now what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna cut these into an inch of thickness just like this i'm gonna cut mine across the normal way but usually a lot of people like to cut their plantain diagonally i guess that might be the traditional way but it makes no difference really because we are gonna be Busy. We are going to be smashing these plantains after we finish frying it for the first time. And yes, we will be frying it twice, guys. Okay, 
So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my planting into about an inch of thickness like this. And I'm gonna place them into my lime, water, and salt, okay? My lime, water, and salt mixture. I'm just gonna pop them right in there and have them sit for about 10 minutes. Just like this, guys, about an inch thickness. Let's go ahead and slice your plantain about an inch thickness. And now I'm gonna place this into my lime, water, and salt mixture. And here I have my plantain sitting in my mixture here. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna come back when it's time to start frying these guys. All right guys, so here we are at my fire. My oil is already hot. And I'm gonna pop my plantains now into my fire. I will not be drying these plantains off because I do not wanna wipe all my salt and all my lime flavor off of them. So I'm just gonna be using my spoon and I'm gonna go ahead and dip them out of the water and just pop them into the fry, the hot oil, just like that. And of course, use caution, take precautions while you're dealing with oil, hot oil especially. All right, so I'm just gonna pop my plantains into my oil for about a minute to a minute and a half, guys. And you want to keep your oil, your fire about medium to low. You do not want to burn your plant in here, guys. And we're just going to be frying these for about a minute to two minutes. And then we're going to remove them from the fire and we're going to squish them. And then we'll place them into the fire to fry once again. Again, guys, this is some lovely banana pizzi, Haitian style. All right guys, so I went ahead and removed my plantain from the, my oil, my fire. And now I'm gonna use the bottom of a coffee mug to squish my plantain. You're just gonna hold your mug and press firmly to squish your plantain, plantain or banana. Okay guys, just like that. You're just gonna squish all of them. Let me show that again for those who didn't see. Just take your coffee mug, hold it firmly and just squish guys. Okay guys, so now I have my squished plantains over here. I'm gonna return them back to my oil, which is still under on the, on the heat. And I'm gonna fry them for about another two minutes, guys. One and a half to two minutes and then we're finished. Okay guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let my plantains fry and I'll be back when it's finished to show you guys the final product. All right, guys, so here is the final version of my Haitian styled banana pizzi. Okay, guys, so this is about it. This is usually enjoyed as a side dish to whatever you're eating. And it's a great accompaniment for whatever you're snacking on, guys. So this is going to be it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check back another day, another time for another brand new video.